Today's video is not sponsored by Vegas Mafia Superhero Battle. Stay tuned till the end to find out more. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Who is Jane in Better Call Saul? Today, we're doing a theory on that. Better Call Saul is one of the shows to come out in the past few decades. It features strong characterization, excellent writing, incredible characters, and references to drugs. It is truly one of the shows that has ever been made, but unfortunately the series is coming to a close after a very short six season run. Even though many fans, myself included, believe the show should continue for at least 10 to 12 more seasons, we are all very excited to see how the series comes to an end. Which brings me to today's theory with a very important question. Who is Jean? Spoilers ahead for Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, and Paw Patrol, three great American television series. Ever since the beginning of Better Call Saul, fans have seen this guy named G. He's a balding white dude with a mustache and glasses who works at a Cinnabon in a mall. When we first see Gene, he seems very timid, shy, and paranoid. He looks around as if he's always watching his back, always making sure he's not being followed or watched. Later, he goes home, pulls out a bunch of old tapes, and begins watching a bunch of commercials for Saul Goodman, an attorney that only true fans will remember from the critically acclaimed series Breaking Bad. Bad. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. Saul Goodman was a lawyer slash attorney slash funny tie man who helped Walter White, aka Hindenburg, launder his money. Now you may be asking, what is laundering money? Great question. According to the first link Google showed me when I typed this, money laundering is the concealment of the origins of illegally obtained money, typically by means of transfers involving foreign banks or legitimate businesses. Illegally obtained money? That doesn't sound very legal. And lawyers are usually known to be legal. That's because Good Solomon is actually a criminal lawyer who does illegal stuff because he can't. Breaking Man never explicitly tells us why Mr. Goodman does these bad things, but we understand that he must be a very complex and interesting character. In the same way, Vegas Mafia Superhero Battle is a very complex and interesting game. <laughs> Sorry, I know we're talking about Better Call Saul, but I just love this game so much. With the release of Better Call Paul, we truly see how Saul Goodman became the man that he ended up becoming. We see him slowly turning from the lovable kinda con man kinda sketchy Jimmy McGill to the lovable full-on con man very sketchy Saul Goodman. The character change throughout the series is immense, and the show is a master class in exploring characterization within the fundamental strongholds of its foundations. But now that we've almost seen Fall Badman's transition to a full-on criminal, what other mysteries are left to be solved about this series? A very big mystery, that's what. At the beginning of each season, we see this Gene guy. Unfortunately, all of his scenes are in black and white, which is cringe and lame. I mean, come on, it's 2020-something. Black and white was in the olden days, and you can buy a better camera now. Whoever accidentally filmed the scenes with Gene should be shot with a gun. I already talked about how Gene is balding and has a mustache and glasses and works at a Cinnabon in a mall. How he's suspicious and how he has a bunch of tapes of Gal Sidman commercials for some reason. But those who maybe forgot I said all that a couple minutes ago should be reminded
behind and just in case you weren't listening. Gene is balding and has a mustache and glasses and works at a Cinnabon in a mall and he's suspicious and he has a bunch of videotapes of Hall Woodman commercials for some reason. With each season, we see more and more of his story unfold to the point now that we just have to know. Who is this Gene? And what does he have to do with Saul Goodman? Many fans have speculated that perhaps Saul Goodman and Gene are the exact same person. This makes sense for many different reasons. For one, they look kinda similar. Also, this would explain Gene's apparent obsession with Saul Goodman. Finally, they are allegedly both played by the same actor. But... I just feel like that's too easy of an answer. Vince Gilligan is one of the greatest writers of all time. He wrote Breaking Bad, which showed how evil a man can become. Pizza time. Walter White went from being a chemist and a family man and a school teacher to a chemist and a family man and a school teacher who also cooks methamphetamine with his best friend Jesse. The show has some crazy moments and big subversions of expectations, similar to how Vegas Mafia Superhero Battle subverted everyone's expectations when it came out on August 17th, 2019. At first, many people assumed it was just a cheap and bad game, but after playing it for a while, many people changed their minds and realized how it makes you really feel like a Vegas Mafia a superhero battle. Oh sorry, did I do it again? I guess that's what I get for discovering my favorite superhero game of all time. Anyways, all that to say, there's no way Saul Goodman and Gene are the same person, because that would be way too obvious. We have to look around at other characters that might be Gene. It can't be Wallet Whitman or Mike and Ike or Gustavo Frog or Hank because they're not working at a Cinnabon at the end of Breaking Bad. It can't be Jesse because he's in Antarctica and doesn't have a mustache or balding. Hmm, who could it be? I've got it. Who has a mustache and is kind of a criminal and sometimes wears a hat like Gene does when he's working at the Cinnabon? Well, my loyal theorists, today I present you with the answer to this burning question. But first, a word from not our sponsor. Hi, I'm Barty McGlankins, here to tell you about today's sponsor and one of my personal best games ever made, Vegas Mafia Superhero Battle. This game is all about superhero action against criminals of city, where you fight for justice and rescue citizens. You can drive bike or car depending upon missions. You play as a flying cyborg hero and whole city fears you. You will fight different mafia gangsters from America, Europe, Russia, Mexico, Japan, ETC. Be careful while dealing with gangster game to send them toward their back destination of ring fighting games. The game contains a large list of achievements for your tragic hero. You have super eyes laser power which can eliminate any gangster instantly. Complete game missions and level the steel hero. Are you looking for heroic battle war with city rescue survival? Experience real thrills of robot power fighting. Explore the big city, go off-roading in the mountains, steal and drive supercars. Destroy criminals which are shooting from guns in this free open world game. Come on man, what are you even waiting for? Download Vegas Mafia Superhero Battle right now in the description below. Click, click on the link, it's a real game. I'm not making any of this up. All that I just read, that was literally the description of the game. My throat really hurts, I need to go drink an uh, Advil or something, I got it. My throat hurts so bad, guys. Hi, I'm Barty McGlankins and I approve this commercial. Now that we've talked about Vegas Mafia Superhero Battle, let's finally reveal the true identity of Gene. Drum roll, please. Is Mayor Humdinger from Paw Patrol? Because they both have mustaches.